favourite. And now it's profile time, my darlings. It's my favourite part of the profile. Is the profile it re- bit. But uh, part of the profile. <laughs> Close to the what end. The start? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's Hernan Crespo. Oh, oh big Hernan. Oh. Beautiful man. Yeah. Mm. Um, flowing locks yeah. Flowing well, not, not anymore now. Not anymore Yeah but you know Yeah but classic Crespo We've yeah. still got the memories oh. The locks are going in the he'll, Alice, st- he'll still have them somewhere The Alice band Still yeah. playing on a touch I believe Yeah, yeah that's a shame isn't well, it Well because the Indian uh, uh, Hasn't Premier, started yet Premier, well, it, didn't, yeah. it didn't happen I don't think No it's been postponed Because they couldn't get the venue sorted I, right. think, I, I think it is happening at some point Okay right 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 yeah. Hernan Jorge Crespo Born on the 5th of July 1975 Oh uh, eight years after the summer of love Damn right a complete centre forward. Mm. Yeah. I He's love brilliant. it. A proper number nine. Mm. The sort of player you'd give your right testicle to have at your club. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Indeed. Indeed. Very reminiscent of Kempes, actually. Yeah. Goals were his play. business and business was good. Mm. <laughs> Most of the time. Yeah. Mm. So he got a bit older. Um, it's, for me, he's right up there with the best Argentinian players who have plied their trade in Serie A. Mm. Mm. And there's been there's a, a long history of that as yeah. well. There is a long history of that. Because history's forever. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, like in the past. By its very that. nature, it is long. Mm. And football's permanent. So. If I may. Yeah, go on. Um, he is from the reasonably well to do area of Florida in Buenos Aires. Came up through the ranks at River Plate, already in good hands. Yeah. Uh, made his debut in his late teens for the Buenos Aires club. In his first season, they won the league. He had an average of one in two goals per game ratio in that first season as a young man. He got the, uh, that's Nick- the standard we expect, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. Dean Winders Hall of Fame standard. Yeah, he, <laughs> that's, that's the entry exam. Yeah. Unless, and he has passed it. Unless you're Dean Winders. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because it's your Hall of Fame, so you can do what you do want. You want. Yeah. Um, an early uh, nickname of his was El uh, Polacco, the Polak, due to his Polish ancestry. The Polak. Yeah, the Polak. Imagine, imagine if there was a player in England with that nickname. Bit aggressive. <laughs> it's Argentina. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's next to Uruguay. Yeah. Um, uh, he would also get given um, the nickname Valdanito, named after the Real Madrid and Argentinian World Cup hero George Valdano. Oh yes, I think. Yeah, because yeah, he looked a bit like him, similar to Barnett, yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Played up front. Uh, he won the Argentinian Championship a couple more times with River Plate and the Copra Libertadores with River, scoring twice in the home leg of the final. From a an two-legged a- final. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's how you do it. That is. Um, <laughs> from an early age, he was getting goals in big games. Yeah. Now, goals were his business, and <laughs> business was good. Yes, exactly. He was as strong as an ox. Mm. Yeah, he was. But as well. he wasn't that big. A really, really <laughs> agile. Oh, he was about six foot. No, he's not, he's not tall, that he? big, surely. No. I, I remember him being quite tall. We okay. so split two. on his height. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Um, In- <laughs> yes, Jim? Just, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Maybe, opinion, <laughs> opinions don't really affect height, do they? So <laughs> I just, just wonder how we're like going to come out of this stand. Maybe still. he was further away when I saw him. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. like people who lie about their height. Yeah. Oh, five, ten. Well, you, you, you're not. I can yeah, see I can, that you're exactly. not. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, in 95, he got his first call up to the Argentinian national side. He'd go on to make many more appearances for the Blue and Whites, of course. In uh, 96, he moved to Serie A with Palmer, where he would have a lovely time. Uh, he didn't start too well, going sort of half a season, give or take, without scoring. And the fans actually got on his back, which is quite funny because he's yeah. a Palmer legend now. and he loves yeah. Palmer as well yeah he's I mean one of the best players in the club's history I'd go yeah. as far as the same in my head from watching Serie A football around that time every goal he ever scored for Palmer was an overhead kick from the edge of the area or a back, <laughs> or a back heel <laughs> yeah. or an overhead back heel yeah an overhead back heel scored with a cartwheel um, uh, he a tu- backwards cartwheel damn right Jim uh, he turned it round though and, and got amongst the goals to help Palmer finish second which is the best That's finish huge. they've ever had yeah. Um, Ancelotti was in charge of Palma around this time, of course. It makes you realise how long Ancelotti's been around as a coach. That's that? right, that's yeah. right. Uh, he was a big part of the, uh, the that that Palma side, which some dubbed Palma's golden generation. That's because they finished second. Well, it was because they had this yeah. uh, Palma that money, and, and they're not traditionally a big team, but then they they had this a golden period where they had Zola and people mm. like that. Espria, right, yeah, yeah. Um, he was playing up front with Enrico Chiesa. Get on that. That's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Juan Veron just behind. Yeah, yeah. Bab- Abel uh, Balbo was Balbo. knocking around Balbo. as well. Balbo. Yeah. Gordon Bennett. Yeah. Hey. I've not heard of him. Who's that? Um, he was a sub. <laughs> <laughs> Kit man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that in the ninety eight ninety nine season was 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 great stuff for them. They won the Coppa Italia and the UEFA Cup. Um, and it's funny because they're not traditionally uh, one of the big sides but again you remember growing up and you think oh blimey Palmer big side you know yeah. they were feared 
But yeah. you realise it's just one of those little periods in their history yeah. that, that come along, and just because you're growing up and you're getting to know yeah. a bit more about European yeah, football, yeah. you think that's standard. Well, it's like Italian, Italian youngsters would probably think like Blackburn is still like a exactly yeah. 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 Newcastle. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. It's true. Yeah. I mean, Arsenal beat them in the Cup Winners' Cup final, didn't they? So yeah. that, that, was, that, was, that yeah, made them did, seem yeah. a big team because they were Italian and glamorous. They were in a final and they had these players like a Spreer and Brolin. That's so, right, yeah. and they'd won that. They'd won the cup the, the year before. They had, yes. Didn't they go to Lazio on a free? Well, before he went there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, uh, he scored 28 goals that season, which is uh, decent. And he got the first in the three nil uh, win in the UEFA Cup final against Marseille. Goals in big games, yeah. mm. ladies and gentlemen. In the year 2000, uh, Crespo would make history by becoming the most expensive player in the world with uh, a transfer record fee of 35 million pounds. It was a big end. Well, Gordon Bennett, wasn't it? Just That's but it was Carroll. Yeah, it was. <laughs> um, uh, now it was 16 million in monies plus uh, Matthias Almeida and. Sergio uh, Concisão. Yeah. Now, Almeida um, amassed 35 appearances for Argentina and Concisão 56 for Portugal. They were decent players. Yeah, yeah. That was quality. Yeah, yeah. a winger, wasn't he? Yeah. Uh, and Almeida played in, in, in midfield, I believe. Um, good player, two good players and yeah. 16 million pounds. That's how highly rated he was. Um, uh, Lazio managed by Sven yeah. at the time. Lest we Sven will chuck money around like there's no <laughs> well, <laughs> you worry about it's, that. It's no, it, uh, it's no um, coincidence <laughs> that uh, Lazio were bankrolled quite handsomely. Uh, yeah, Sergio yeah. Cragnotti, the Italian entrepreneur, at the time they'd won the league the previous season. And uh, they brought in the likes of Nedved and Vieri, and, and they uh, weren't cheap players. No, no, they weren't they were expensive Vieri. ensemble. There's not a day that goes past I don't think of Christian Vieri. <laughs> <laughs> James, Just, you've got to let it go, mate. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's He's the one top. that got away. I still, I still have. I'm telling you, is now. it that Australian accent when he speaks English? He's a big fat lad, mm. Vieri, but I still have him up front of Pompey right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, of course you yeah. would. You still have John Hartson up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. The Welsh equivalent. You yeah. have got Carnu up front. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah, so uh, Crespo finished top scorer in Serra in his first season in Rome. And uh, that was 28 goals in the league. His second season, he suffered a, a few injuries, but uh, his, uh, I think his league um, ratio is 39 league goals in 54 games for Lazio. He scored a goal for Lazio. I forget who it was against. I'll try and find it on YouTube. I can. I'll tweet it. Where he gets the ball comes over. He's about on the edge of the area, but he gets slightly in front of the ball, so he sort of contorts his body. And he volleys it, hmm. and he volleys it so hard, yeah. it looks like he might turn his own body inside out. <laughs> so he flips his own body round, and and, and, he, and the energy he generates, he ends up throwing himself on the floor. It's like a warhead. Yeah, it's yeah, like it, a warhead. It's, it's amazing to watch. I tell you, in the top corner. Yeah, yeah. La- Lazio were, were were treated back then, weren't yeah. they? You had Vieri up front. Salas played as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then and then um, and Crespo. What I, what I loved about Crespo, he was the complete forward. I mean, I know nowadays, you know. Uh, we have you know like the false nine and, and uh, a lot of wingers are the best players Inverted in the world and, stuff, and all yeah. that kind of stuff and that's great as well but for the love of an, a traditional number nine mm-hmm. and Crespo, your focal point up yeah. front absolutely Crespo your funnel your yeah. goal funnel <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with leading the line <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hello yeah. I want to see Jim Richardson in a cafe in a nice <laughs> that's what I want <laughs> <laughs> that's what we all want I want to see Stato behind the fucking table <laughs> <laughs> but what? Oh, but, but, back. Crespo, <laughs> lethal. Yeah, mm. absolutely. It, great header of the ball yep. as yeah. well. Two footed, could score spectacular yeah. goals. He, he would header that ball goal. like it owed him money. Yeah, <laughs> fast it, as well. Yeah, very fast. His only problem seemed to be that he hit his own bonds. And like yeah, he that's just, right. Like, and, and and it's testament to his skill and his quality that um, he was like transferred, but fought a lot of money each time yes. even though he was quite an injury prone player at times I and, and I think totally every yeah. successful manager would sort of go he's got a, he, he can't have as bad an injury yeah, and if he yeah. plays he scores if he plays he scores he's and worth fre- the gamble and frequently yeah. he didn't play and that was the most frustrating thing I think yeah. well he went to Inter to place, replace Ronaldo really um, again was hampered with injuries a bit there in his first spell at Inter and then he was off to Chelsea for nearly 17 million I loved it when he signed with Chelsea that was brilliant yeah it was wasn't it because that was that was the first wave of signings they made under Abramovich mm. and like they, you know there was Joe Cole there was uh, Jeremy a few, few other you know good players oh, Jeremy but, I forgot about him yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but um, you know he was he was the big one wasn't yeah. he he was the that was the calibre of player they could never have attracted before Crespo that was a real yeah. signal they meant business but the funny thing was though he wasn't really in Mourinho's plans and I think he was a little bit um, I was going to say homesick peripheral but, yeah, yeah, uh, he, he, I think he, he really did struggle loved. to settle. Yeah. He did struggle to yeah, settle. He was very uh, hit and miss. So he went back on uh, loan. Uh, back on loan. He went back to Italy on loan with uh, Milan. Where of course so he, he was on loan from Chelsea for like it felt like about three seasons. I think I think he was in total three seasons. Yeah. 
um, not consecutive though. Mm. Uh, so he went to Milan, and of course he reached that famous Champions League final um, against Liverpool. Again, scoring was, goals yeah. in big yeah, games. Yeah. Goals were his business. <laughs> <And> business was, <laughs> was goals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all right, yeah. Uh, he scored two in the final. The second one was don't br- don't breeze over that. What's that? He scored two goals in the Champions League final. Yeah, and yeah. I was about to say in the second one. I'm oh, sorry. Um, You're bridging over him. <laughs> yeah. Stop bridging. Kaká played a beautiful yeah. pass. It's the finish. Slips. Yeah. Oh, that is the definition. Slips. Um, and then he kind of just stabbed the ball over Dudek. On, on, yeah. Dudek yeah. sort of came rushing out. I mean, an incredible finish in it, such a high-profile game. Yeah. He, he had that aura around him of one on ones. It's in the back of the yeah, yeah. yeah. In Zaggy-esque. You're fine. You know? yeah. And and th- what do you reckon he shouted when Kaka slipped? Do you reckon he shouted slips? Yeah. Or slot me? Slips. <laughs> it wouldn't have been send me. <laughs> like it's yeah. the Scottish favourite. Feed me. <laughs> Oi. Oi. Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to score again? Give Thank it, you. Then, then give it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much killed off the tie as well. Didn't it that? did. Yeah, yeah. they were yeah. three and a half at half yeah. time. Game and... over. I hate seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Liverpool won on yeah. penalties. <laughs> uh, Mourinho then got Crespo back involved with Chelsea, and uh, started the season very well with a superb goal away to Paul Jules Wigan. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was Wigan had actually were the better side, and uh, he got the ball twenty five yards out, edge of the box, turned, smashed top corner, yeah. <laughs> one nil, grabbed it. Wigan looked like they were going to get something out of the gap. Yeah. Well. it seemed so fresh, Wigan back then, yeah. didn't it? Now they're just depressing. Paul Jewell, yeah. uh, England potential. Oh, no. um, mm-hmm. uh, and Mourinho actually went up to Jewell after when when the goal went in. He was like, oh, "I'm sorry about that. Like, you you know gave him a bit of encouragement. Stop making." Such disgusting videos. <laughs> get, back, get back on the bonnet. I'm sorry about that, but just to make this absolutely clear, I'm still having the three points. <laughs> <laughs> so see you later. <laughs> For what it's worth, I do feel slightly sorry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he won the league with Chelsea, of course, um, but he preferred. Oh, Joel. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're in that coma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, anyway, during the summer of 2006, he played at the World Cup in Germany, finishing uh, second top scorer in their opening game against the Ivory Coast. It was Crespo up front with Saviola, no. Raquel May in behind. Saviola, what g- arguably a career wasted. Yeah, oh, very much mm, so. Yeah. I mean, he's played something like he's played under 400 games in his whole career. Yeah, yeah. It's, oh, it's just, I'm playing the enough. smallest Saviola in. If, uh, in, what, violin, for, yeah, violin. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Works. Yeah. Just. <laughs> um, he scored against Ivory Coast. In the second game, he got a goal in the six-nil win against Serbia. And was was he the one who provided the back heel pass to Cambiasso, who finished off that incredible move? I think he was. He was, yeah. was involved in that move for sure. Yeah, for I sure, think yeah. he was the one. Everyone was involved in that move. Yeah. yeah. I was involved in that move. Yeah, I was in that move somewhere. Which was one of the great World Cup goals, certainly of recent One of the great team goals. And Maxi Rodriguez scored a beauty in that game as well, didn't he? That was against Mexico in the next round. Yeah. Um, where chest up and volley yeah, yeah. Where Crespo had already scored again in, in that round and Argentina went out to the Germans in the quarterfinals but he was you know, one of the teams of the tournament and, and Crespo was great there he didn't play much further for Argentina but he is the second highest scorer behind Batistuta in the country's history 35 goals in 64 matches they've had some strikers haven't they yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh, what we'd give for half a batter stuter. <laughs> <laughs> a tutor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and then uh, Crespo, uh, after the summer of 2006, was loaned and, and then signed by Inter. Went on to win three league titles there and two Coppa Italias. They had a great time. Yeah. yeah. And all in one season. In, all in one <laughs> yeah, season. That's how good he was. <laughs> and uh, after Inter came Genoa and then a move back to his beloved Parma. And he kept a 10 year promise. Uh, finishing his career at the team he loved so much which was nice it was great mm. that he came uh, back round to be a lot like of sort of <laughs> well, paying <laughs> service don't they, and say they'll do that absolutely but he signed a new deal for the rest of the season and I think he realised that he couldn't fulfil it because he was, his injuries were too too severe mm. or that he didn't have it anymore and he had to leave and he gave a press conference he was very emotional he was he was indeed um, but he, he did uh, score a few goals um, in, his, in his time there you know it wasn't uh, you know well this he's Old now, this yeah. is quite embarrassing. It's not for the knackers yard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is, is what I'm trying he to could say. You can play in India. Well, so he was playing the Premier League. They can't defend in the Premier League. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he was Palmer's top goal scorer in all competitions in in I think his first full season back there. Okay, yeah. And he is uh, he is top goal scorer in the Palmer's history in all go- in all competitions. It's not bad in the either. club's history and second in their list of Serie A scorers, which is. Absolutely incredible achievement, yeah. you know. Um, a fantastic number nine, experienced success just about everywhere he went, and he's coming into the Dean Wendas Hall of Fame. And he's welcome. Get in there. Crespo. He's over there kicking his way in. <laughs> <laughs> Get in that. F-